Finally, it was time to leave this place that had been my home for quite a while. Gunnar has joined me here in France and we are about to leave the Wobon Basin. So we're waiting for our bridge opening time. And we thought we were going to pass out through the lock, but it turns out there is a problem with the lock, so we will have to wait outside here on the platoon for the whole day. But still, we're about to leave, finally. How long have you been here? Uh, gosh, I think eight months. Yeah. <laughs> long stop. <laughs> there is the bridge that we're soon going to pass out through. I also hope there is going to be at least another boat uh, because we are a little bit uncertain how this works and how to find the platoon. This whole thing has not gone as good as we hoped. We realized when uh, driving out through the bridge and uh, all the waiting time there uh, that um, the boat doesn't respond very well to the reverse um, so we think we hope it's uh, because it's barnacles on the propeller uh, that's like the, the easy thing to fix but it's very cold in the water here so we are gonna take our chance because they have a travel lift here at the waiting platoon so they agreed to lift the boat for us shortly like 30 minutes so we can have a check on uh, on the propeller and everything underneath. Uh, hopefully it, hopefully it's a lot of barnacles and we can quickly remove them and put the boat back into the water. Uh, so we have about 45 minutes until our time. And then they have just enough time to put the boat back into the water and we can pass out for the lock, which is the only time uh, six o'clock because there's something wrong with the lock, so it can only be open at absolute high water. But uh, yeah, not what we expected to have this day too. And it's also, it's kind of expensive to make another lift of the boat, but it's difficult to maneuver the boat at the moment. So we need to do something. So this is probably the best that could happen from the circumstances. Here we have the answer to why she responds so poorly to reverse gear. This is apparently what happens when you use echo anti-fouling. It was however fairly quick to remove the barnacles and repaint so we also had time to clean the hull a bit, even though there was no opportunity for a pressure washer. Some new paint on, it's very windy so not so easy to get it good and got the tape so there's a paper over the anode. So we got all the barnacles off the boat and we've been out test driving it and it works so much better, it's back to normal. So it's really really good to have it done. Um, so so far everything was good and we were in time for the, the lock opening. But it turns out the lock is not going to open. <laughs> not today and not tomorrow but probably on Sunday. So we are uh, stuck on the uh, sort of waiting for tone. Fortunately already next day we got the message that there would be a lock opening at Saturday so we could take Tilda out to the main port at the sea. And in the lock we rafted up with Vincent who told us we should not miss out on Saint Vas on our way to Chabot. But first at the seaside marina some parcels waited for us. Our solar panels! Yeah, our solar panels and the parcel from Sweden with the solar panel brackets and the regulator and clothes. I have thought of for quite a while now that I would like to have a very simple solution for a targa bow on the Tilda to be able to put up some more solar panels. And now finally the very last part has arrived. This is going to be a sort of a do-it-yourself targa bow build in a very basic way. Many boats here in France has some sort of solution for this and I saw one boat that has only one one upper bar which makes it possible to put the solar panels so you can angle them pretty much how you would want it. We got the panels up and enjoyed the last beautiful evening in Le Havre at the beach with a friend. Thank you. 
Le Havre and it's a very calm morning. It's no wind at all, but uh, the wind will pick up in, uh, we think, less than an hour, a little bit at least, and then more in the afternoon. We have about 10 hours sail, we think, uh, but we also cannot arrive too soon because the gate in the, in the port we want to go to opens at 7 in the evening. So it's about 9 in the morning now. We think it's going to take 10 hours. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be out again. It's a very beautiful day. And with the new solar panels also in place, we could not be happier. increased uh, a bit and we do about six to six and a half knots and uh, we also got the current with us about uh, one and a half knot of current the moment so life is pretty good starting sailing in those conditions the sea is almost flat and uh, it's uh, it's a perfect day we really really enjoy it and uh, we're about halfway at the moment outside of San Vas, together with lots of other boats for the lock to open. It opens at 7 today. had a lovely lovely day and we actually hit it exactly on the spot at seven o'clock they opened the, the lock gates here at St. Vast and uh, we were here at seven there was a lot of boats uh, lying outside the, the lock waiting but uh, we came exactly uh, and then the the wind and the bad weather there came also so but now we're docked in St. Vast and uh, we're having some evening tea. St. Vast is a busy fishing port and of course we wanted to check on the seaside area but we also seen on the chart there is a fort that we wanted to check out.
are leaving St. Bas for Cherbourg. It's a little bit windier today, a little bit choppy. It's been really windy yesterday and uh, in the night, so but it's still better than we expected. Uh, the forecast was 1.5 meter waves. I think we have this far a little less. Uh, so we are motoring with the main up at the moment and uh, just waiting to attack. And then uh, we are gonna head north and uh, be with the current. And uh, I think pretty soon the current will uh, start to increase up to three knots going away. So probably it will be a fast Fast and smooth move north until we turn to uh, west to, to head for Shabu. an area where two currents are meeting each other it's interesting it's very the waves are coming from all directions and yeah you can probably see it it's a little choppy for us but soon we can turn more to west so I think it's gonna be a lot more comfortable but finally the water was less messy and we soon had Shibu in sight. If you liked this episode, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.